So here are the release notes for Preside 1021, a really small release containing four kind of small focus features that help us move various projects along. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first one is we've revamped the email view in the admin. So if we come to email center, email and newsletters, this table here had been revamped and made more use of the space. Um, so like the status is embedded in the email, so it's either uh, live or a draft. So you can see the difference there. The sending method has been condensed and the sending info contains all that it used to. What's particularly good now is we have date last sent, which was the main motivator for this. So we can order by the last date that an email got sent by any of these. And, uh, we can order by it and see a condensed version of it. Uh, and date modified has had that condensed treatment to it as well so that's that the second feature is a new system alert so system alerts were introduced in 1020 so this is the first of sorry the second uh, actual use case that we have for it in the core and it tells users when they have invalid rules engine rules now this can happen if you've got filters for example that are filtering on a data column and then a few upgrades later that column no longer exists and so those rules are no longer valid. This alert will let users know that they have one or more conditions or filters that contain those invalid rules. It will list them out uh, so that a user can click on one, can see that oh yeah this is a problem, uh, they can fix it in some way, rebuild the rule, save it or just delete the rule and that will make the alert go away so that's that. The third little feature was, uh, I was really pleased to see this one. This is just kind of a little bug fix really. It allows you to select some text in a data row. So normally in a data row, if you click on an item in here, it's going to take you to the record. But now if we click but actually select some text, it stays here. So you can copy the text and use it somewhere uh, and not be annoyed by the fact that you're uh, being redirected to the main link of the row. And finally, Last but not least is we have a new core renderer to prettify JSON strings. Um, so we've got, there's a JSON library for CFML that we've included as a module in Preside now and also uh, gives you a renderer. So for example, in the admin, if you had some text field and you, in your CFC, you added renderer equals JSON. This is how it's automatically going to look for you. It will prettify that JSON and indent it and that is 1021.